Chapter 2. Editing Videos and Slideshows In this chapter, you will learn about editing videos and slideshows. But first, we need to understand the layout of the edit window. The interface is composed of several sections. The library, the title list, the title selector, and the chapter list. The library is where you can store media files for all of your projects. You can add media to the library by choosing a media type, clicking on the open icon, and browsing for your files. The title list is where each video file or slideshow is added to your project. Add titles by dragging them from the library, or by clicking the Add Images or Add Video button and browsing for your files. The title selector shows you which title is selected in the preview window. Change the title in the preview window by clicking on the left and right arrows. Notice how the preview window changes. The chapter list shows all of the chapters for the selected title. Switch between chapters by clicking on the associated thumbnails. On the title list, you can click and drag items to set the default playback order for your DVD. Set the first play title one of two ways, by dragging the appropriate video to the first play thumbnail like this, or by right-clicking the video and selecting Set as First Play Video. Notice how that video is copied to the first play thumbnail here. Set the beginning and end of a title by clicking and dragging the Mark In and Mark Out buttons. Alternatively, play the video and click the Set Mark In button to choose the starting frame and the Set Mark Out button to choose the last frame. Add multiple chapters to a title by finding the first frame of each new chapter and then clicking Add Chapter from here. Add a slideshow by holding down Shift, selecting multiple images, and then dragging them into the title list. Set the slideshow order by selecting the slideshow and then clicking on the Arrange Images button. Drag the images so they appear in the order you want them. Then click OK. Please note the additional options available. At any time, you may preview your DVD in real time. To do so, just click on the first tab and select Play. You've completed the second of five chapters. In this chapter, you have learned how to edit video and slideshows. In the next chapter, you will cover editing audio and subtitle tracks.